Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 gets first post-launch roadmap. Today, Saber Interactive and Focus Home Interactive have shared the first post-launch roadmap for Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. First and foremost, the first major, and free, update is coming very soon and will add a new lethal difficulty for the PV Cooperative Operations mode. Moreover, a new PV operation titled Termination is being introduced. Here, players will face off against the Hierophant Bio-Titan, the largest threat the Tyranid Swarm has up its sleeve. The arsenal is growing larger, too, with the addition of the neo Vol Kite Pistol. Later this year, Season Pass owners are getting new cosmetics based on the Dark Angels chapter. This includes exclusive new weapon skins for the Auto Bolt, Rifle, Plasma Pistol, and Power Sword, in addition to a full body armor skin for the Bulwark class a new shield, and even more cosmetics. Future seasons will feature new PV cooperative operations, a host of additions to PvP with a new game mode and new arenas, new Tyranid and Thousand Suns enemies, new weapons, a horde mode, and other Space Marine chapter cosmetics for Gold and Ultra Edition owners via the season pass. As a reminder, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 sold 2 million units in just 24 hours since its launch. European sales data also reported it was the second best-selling new game in the continent this year after Helldivers 2. The game received a 7 out of 10 score on Wft from Chris Ray. In all, while Warhammer 40,000, Space Marine 2 isn't a bad game, not in any sense of the word, it's arguably good at what it does. I haven't enjoyed it that much. The repetitiveness of combat, particularly with the limitations directing you down the repetitive execution spam route, was the core reason for this. There's a good story with an awe-inspiring setting, narratively and visually, which will likely keep you going if you're like me. All in all, it's not a bad game at all and a worthy sequel.